All right, James, here's your 24 scale Motor Max uh, Ford Crown Vic. This is, or you sent it to me as decal of the LaGrange, uh, Illinois Police Car, uh, Police Department. Uh, these were available from Motor Max Direct uh, decal like this. But anyway, as I mentioned to you, it came in the box. It's kind of beat up a little bit because it wasn't, I guess, the base of it broke off from the uh, box. So it did get kind of beat up a little bit, but got it fixed back. Uh, put uh, spotlights back on both sides. And had to replace the light bar because it was broken. Uh, where the tab goes to this um, into the top of the car, roof of the car. Then anyway, we got it fixed back up. Um, you also wanted the battery attached or external uh, the car. So what I ended up doing was using one of my little small boxes. I didn't have to put the lid back on, so I forgot I was going to show it. It's a small battery box with a nine volt to fit in, and then there's an on-off switch on it, so it controls uh, uh, the power to the car. The, um, also wanted the siren in this, put everything that we discussed on it, and then also did some work on the interior. I don't think we talked about that, but I know, obviously, you're not going to mind, so. We'll go ahead and turn this on. What were the lighting? Uh, we wanted, um, excuse me, red and blue strobes uh, on the mirror. See those there? Uh, red and blue strobe light bar. We got uh, the interior, so we're going to look at it. I added the decals to the uh, MDT in there so it looks a little more realistic. Added an interior work light as well. Um, go to the front, and I got your flashing headlights. Of course, red and blue strobe under the passenger door mirror. Of course, you can see your light bar still flashing. Um, you wanted cover those other things just about make you have a seizure. Um, flashing tail lights as well. And then you wanted red and blue strobes uh, and the reverse lights. And as we discussed, uh, the reverse lights on the 24 scale, which you know this, uh, do not have the lenses. They're just, uh, you know, painted metal. So what I ended up doing, let's turn this off a little bit and you can see it. Just cut the LEDs flush to where they sit flush with the metal. So you can just barely feel the edges of them sticking out. They're not... Uh, some builders just drill a hole and stick the LED through them. As you can see, they're cut down where they sit pretty flush against the metal of the car. So they're not sticking out big rounded bug eye looking things. So anyway, and like I said, they're definitely red and blue strobes. And they look crazy. I don't know how well my camera is. I think it's the first time I've used this LED. I know uh, these here, um, they're a strobe as well, red and blue. But they're the rectangular. These here are the three millimeter rounds. And like I said, it's the first time I've used them, and they're, I mean, it's a crazy fast strobe, but it's definitely a cool looking red and blue. Might have to start utilizing those a little bit more. Uh, of course, the siren um, in the car as well. But for the sirens, man, they're right here in the back. It's going to probably sound pretty loud with my camera because I was able to mount the speaker in the uh, gas tank area. What well, would be the gas tank? So I went in and drilled some holes in it so it'd give you a little bit more sound. So I don't know what it's going to do to my microphone on my camera, but. Just to go to show you, just show you that the uh, siren is in there. Here we go. All right, and that is way louder than uh, the majority of the sirens installs. Usually, they go up in the front, and there's a lot of plastic things that block the sound, but. With the holes, I think I drilled quite a few holes in the bottom right here to really let some of the sound out. Like I said, that is like ridiculously loud. That first tone goes, it's the same siren kit that most builders use. So that first tone goes through the whale and the, uh, uh, the phaser and the uh, electric, uh, electronic air horn and whatnot. So it gives you all your sounds. The antennas, I know this video is getting crazy long. The antennas, I'm not going to be able to leave on there when I ship it because uh, I know they're going to hit in the box and tear off. So what I'm going to show you... There we go, accident. As I go to show you these, the um, um, I use that goop glue. So for those of you, again, I'm starting to, not like I get endorsed by this company, but anyway, this glue works great for these cars because you can put that on there and it doesn't mess the paint up. So let's just say the antenna gets broken off. You can see it stays on there pretty well. I'll we'll probably lift this car up maybe with both of these. Yeah, so uh, they stay on pretty well. They have like a silicone dry to them, so they, you know, they kind of move a little bit. We'll give some. But when you pull this off, it leaves just like a little bit of a spot right there. You can see that. And it's just more like, like I said, it's almost like a little drip of 
looking like silicone or something, and they will come right off. Of course, I say that it looks like it's. It's not. I'm pull that one off too. Uh, it's not as hard as it looks. So like I said, just to give you an idea, it does come off completely clean. Um, so if any of you that watch these videos that buy the antennas from me, that's the glue I recommend. Because right there you can see. Now there's some smudges there where my fingers are at, but that'll wipe right off. As you can see, it leaves no damage to the paint or anything at all. Like I said, except for smudges from my fingers. Um, so I'll just put you a couple of those antennas in a bag. If you want more of them, let me know, and uh, you know I'll get them to you so anyway James appreciate the order and I think you said you had a few more that you just wanted to send so uh, there you have it I appreciate it and we'll get this taken care of I'll get you an invoice uh, emailed to you soon thank you